in my own system, I have seven speakers. I don't have nine speakers. I don't have 11 speakers. Now, what should I have in here? Uh, Persedia RP22 standards, this should have 11 bed layer speakers and four overhead speakers. That would be what's appropriate. But let's go back to the budget thing. Well, I'm a dealer and I'm a friend of the company's and I, so I get a good price on the product. It's not free, it's an expensive product. And the problem is I would have had to have gone to a different product to have been able to afford 11. And it wasn't just the speakers, because remember, I have an Altitude 16, which is a pretty high channel count processor, that's 20 channels. But if I had done that, given how many subwoofer channels I need for waveforming, the Altitude 16 would not have been adequate. So now I gotta go to an Altitude 32 with 32 channels. The 24 might have worked, but probably 32 channels. I would have had to have gone to uh, more amplifier channels. So for this room, I would have needed, I guess I would have needed probably the Alti uh, Amplitude 16, I guess matching amplifier would have been adequate. And I would have had one channel to spare uh, Power-wise, it would have been okay, but actually the speakers I used, the S7Is, really, I think four to 500 watts is what you should be giving them as their amplifier, and that amplifier doesn't do that. So arguably, I would need either two Amplitude 16s and then bridging a bunch of channels for the higher power speakers, or I would need a different set of amplifiers for the front three channels plus an Amplitude 16. So you can see how quickly the cost of everything starts to escalate, trying to make sure that everything isn't uh, made worse by just having more channels.